Hello everybody and welcome back to This War of Mine. I've actually not been looking forward to getting back into this. Why have I suddenly decided that I hate the game? No, that is not the case. The episode, two episodes ago, I made a big mistake. Oh, and of course the winner's here now as well. And then I recorded the part after that right after, so it didn't quite set in, but it has since then and um, I think I messed up really, really badly. But anyway, what did we do on our previous night? We did actually end up getting a lot of food. Where did I go to get that food? I don't remember. Maybe that's a good thing I shouldn't remember. Now, I did notice at the end of the previous episode, I let it linger a bit too much and it said that Bruno and Roman got into a fight. However, that was like a week ago I recorded that. So it's randomised a new alternative event now where Bruno has actually started being ill. I think we have the medicine for that. But anyway, Arika, your bio's updated. What are you saying? It was a risky way of getting supplies. I hope it was worth it. I don't remember what I had her do last time. <laughs> Either way, she got the food we need. So, Roman, you're still sad thanks to what I made you do. I'm glad Arika stole from those bandits. Oh, I snuck past, like, the folk armed with guns, I remember now. We'll make better... Yeah, they were bandits. They were definitely bandits. They were all armed. There wasn't any kind of problem there. We'll have you sleep for now as well. We will feed you today, though. Right, Bruno, you're sick because of the cold. Uh, where's your update? Um, I said he was updated, right? Well, either way, there's a bit of food left, so he's going to eat it right now. Katja, you're updated as well. They had been robbing helpless civilians. Arika managed to return the favour. The other reason I wasn't looking forward to getting back into the file is that I realised I've been using up basically every honest or semi-honest way there is to get food. I'm running out of ways to find food in the wild without doing things I don't want to do. So he's on meds. He needs to rest now. Go do that. So I really need to try... Oh, speaking of food. Fantastic. We will have Bruno cook, although we've got mostly canned food, so that doesn't require cooking, thankfully. Yeah, you're going to rest in bed. How many bits of kindling do we have left? What, none? Seriously? Oh, good God. Alright, we're going to have to burn some wood. When it's winter time, you cannot use water filters, but you can shovel snow outside and turn that into water. And frozen to the bones, we must get heating quickly, alright. Case in point, she knows we're going to have to put some more kindling in. So hang on, we can make kindling here. We do have a supply of water stored up though, so let's burn three, four of them. We'll trade with the merchant for some more as well. But I I don't know if one furnace is going to be enough. We're down to three degrees. I can't have my people getting ill. I've got tons of bandages, but I don't have tons of medication. So I'm okay when people get wounded. I almost wish we did have that same thing happen where Bruno and uh, Roman got into a fight. Oh, that's the merchant. All right, this is interesting. First of all, collect the food so I know what my food supply is. We'll put a couple of bits of wood in there. I remember we still need like the heat lamp or whatever it is to upgrade this thing. I don't know if the merchant's ever going to have that, but we have to watch out for it. Let's um, put a couple of bits. Let's put more in. That's that's a really roaring now, so we should hopefully see it getting hotter. What are we going to trade for? Food? Uh, anything I can use for kindling? Anything at all, really. Right, Mr. Merchant Man. Oh, a bit of fertilizer to stick in there again would be good too. Right, you've only got one canned food on you, and you'll probably want way too much for it. Yeah. You cheeky bastard. Oh, you've got raw food as well, actually. And you're saying that's quite common, so that's interesting. You've got a little bit of water, a little bit of... You've got a lot of alcohol in you, which probably means that you're not going to give me a lot. Oh, hang on, are bandages valuable to you? Ah, yes they are. So let's put two of my five bandages in there. And let's say I want all your kindling. I want your ammo. I want your raw food. Still very generous. That's very promising. If I put in your canned food, it won't do try harder. Right, you're asking too much for canned food, so therefore I don't want it. Your herbs are interesting. I want your water, though. Fine, we can have a deal. Maybe get some wood. It won't do try harder. What else can I give you? I could give you these. Alright, we're still doing okay here. Can I put in another bit of wood as a result? Ah, damn it. I've got two knives. I've got two rifles. Exactly. Oh, you're very interested in guns as well. That is intriguing. Buy on. Can I put back... It won't do try hard. I'll put back one. It's fine. We can have the order. So that's the first deal done. We're not done yet. 
So you're interested in my guns, are you? Well, I don't need two shotguns. So let's put a shotgun in. And you really want that. I want those two lockpicks. You say they're quite common, so that's fine. I want your sugar. Hmm. I think you might be overvaluing sugar, you know? It won't do try harder. Yeah, you are overvaluing sugar. Let's put most of that back then. I want all the wood. In fact, we probably need components as well, but I'm thinking because it's winter, I'm going to have to be burning a lot of stuff. What else can I put in that I don't require? I don't need a lot of these electrical parts. Hmm, coffee will keep morale up. Oh, we have 61 sugar. No, 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 we do not want the sugar. Let's take the last bit of wood and we'll take... It was parts I believe I needed as well. I want to try harder. What can I give you? We don't actually have as much water as I thought we did. I mean, how are you rating this? Interesting, not exactly what you need. Same with the knife. I might need those knives once I run out of ammunition, you see, so that's why I'm not eager to get rid of them. Also, excuse the bus going past the window. <sighs> I won't do try harder. I won't do try harder. Well, hang on, I'll put back the tobacco and I'll say, give me another part. Give me whoa, two parts. Is that all I can do? He's got a bunch of cigarettes, but I don't have a bunch of stuff to sell. That said, if I do just collect a whole bunch of crap at night, I can throw crap at him for the better stuff. So then that might be what I have to do. So we've got kindling off of him as well. All this for a gun. I don't think this is a terrific deal for me, but we have so many weapons thanks to me doing questionable things that we're not going to dwell on. I will call that a deal and I'll say thank you for your time. Goodbye. Yeah, I hope the snipers don't see you either. So yeah, we can shovel for water. I believe this won't let me do this, right? Completely frozen. I better just gather some snow and melt it. I'm not entirely sure how you melt the snow. I didn't figure that out last time, but we'll gather some snow then. Is everyone else up yet? Gather snow for an hour. So that would get four snow. Right, so Roman is up. I wish Bruno got better. I feel for the worst. It's okay, man. He's, he's fine. You go eat a canned food. Let's go see if we can bait that trap again, because that trap is one of our only sources of semi-consistent food. Good. Putting lots of fuel in does make a difference. We went up from 4 degrees to 9 degrees. The snow hopefully won't last too long. I'll need to use the radio as well. So we can bait it with a can... Oh, we have one fertilizer left. Fantastic. So that would get us two raw food at some point. When? I have no idea. Have you got the snow? Yes, you do. So we could make that into homegrown tobacco. I mean, is that valuable? What else could we use it for? We could actually make herbal meds if we had a few more. I might need to rely on those herbal medications if people get ill, so I'm actually not going to do that. I don't know where you melt the snow. I assume you might melt it there. You sit there, man. Have a smoke or something. Uh, wait, uh, let's have you close the door since she forgot. Yeah, Bruno won't get up because he's resting. He doesn't need food though because I had a meal already. Where do you melt snow? So how many people are still hungry, in a way? Bruno is not hungry. Roman is not hungry. Katja is hungry. Eat raw food. Eh, uh, canned food, rather. It's not as bad as eating raw food. You closed the door and then went outside, you silly woman. Close it. Close the door. Right, do you melt the snow here? I didn't wear this out in my other game because... Yeah, and just melt the snow. How? Do you do that at the furnace, perhaps? I know the snow's in my inventory. We can melt snow into water. How? I don't know. Where else would you do it? Uh, a workbench? I would have thought, actually, let's... No, the option wasn't there, was it? This day is almost over anyway. Uh, let's also get Arica to use the... Oh, Arica still needs to eat canned food. Water. Ah, there we go. Oh, you still need to use water filters though. And it uses up kindling. That's bad. But at least I know now. Okay. Right, we need to get some information. Shortages of water throughout the city. If you melt snow before water, make sure to boil it before drinking. Why? I don't think you really need to do that, do you? I mean, it's falling. Oh. Death takes its toll in Pagoran. Sniper fire, mortar shells and cold temperatures are a cause of the deaths of many civilians. Civilian casualties are the result of tragic accidents and criminal activity within the city. I wonder if that's in relation to what I did. It is cold. Unfortunately, higher temperatures are not expected over the next couple of days. Damn. We're going to be dealing with this cold for a while then. Also, where's the classical music? There we are. That might help improve the mood for um, Roman. You're eating canned food. 
you're making a water filter, assuming we can. And I guess put even more of that kindling on the fire so it lasts overnight. Yeah, if, I'm not sure where we're going tonight. I have I have no idea. I can't make a water filter because I don't have enough components. All right, well, in that case, I need components. It has been decided for me. Components are what we're doing. You ate, right? Yeah. Put even more on. Does that make a... No need... F ah, so six is the maximum you can do then. And what did I need to upgrade? We need lots of components. So if I can go somewhere that has lots of components, like maybe the construction tower with the snipers, that could work. We're ready to end this day. Don't worry, it's up to 11 degrees. You're fine, man. End day. It was about to end anyway in an hour. Right, there's some areas we can't get to because of fighting again, including this, the place I was talking about. Damn it. The military, if we can trade. There is trade. Um, I don't know if they'd have food and whatnot, though. They definitely want my alcohol, and I have alcohol to trade. So maybe I should give it a go. What was in the ruined villa? I've never been there yet. Lots of food, lots of meds, huge amount of weapons, danger. It's being used as a hideout. Strangers they don't like, but they have military rations. So if I was to go in there and do like a sneaking mission, I'm not sure I want to do another one of them straight after. Uh, lots of meds. Lots of meds? Who's there? Oh, that's where the other danger was. That's where I went last time. Caution advised. Quiet. No, I can't go to the quiet house. Some food, huge amount of weapons. Oh, that's that's where the thing happened with Roman, right? Or was that the shell cottage? I think what we're going to do today is try and trade with the military. So if I'm trading, then I want to actually go with Katya. Oh, she has the most inventory anyway. So you're scavenging. Bruno's ill, so he's sleeping in bed. Roman is guarding for sure. And Arik is going to keep you company. To try and improve your mood. Right, so yeah, I think we're going to the military outpost. They want alcohol and cigarettes. And or cigarettes. We might be able to get some materials for free as well. So... We have pure alcohol. I know I could have used that to make medicine, but I'm hoping to trade for stuff, something better. Right. Let's see if we can actually get something done with this. Don't accidentally run, you might spook them. Yeah, we're going to get some stuff for free. This isn't classes owned by them, so that's fine. Watch out, this is a restricted area. Hey, hey, don't leave, I do want to trade. Oh, free ammo, thank you. I'm worried they'll only have stuff like ammunition and guns to trade, which I don't actually need that much of. Ammunition is fine, but I need better than that. I don't want to go in there because that'll turn them aggressive. I'll have to wait here for the guy who wants to trade to come back. So, oh, here he comes, here he comes. Right, just hang around here, it's fine. I want to trade with you, good sir. Oh, you do actually have a lot of food. It would cost you, though. You have a lot of water. You can have it for almost nothing, that is promising. Interesting and interesting. So let's put this in and say you'd have to show me a lot. It would cost you a lot. It would cost you for raw food as well? How many of these could I get? It won't do try harder. I could get one. What about canned food? One and that's even worse. Hmm. Alright, how much water? Well, can I get all the ammo? No. What about Four ammo, really? No. Alright then, what about water? Water is in short supply, so its value's probably gone up. Water is very valuable to me. I can keep on making moonshine because of all the sugar I have. So for one alcohol, I can get 15 water. And with that 15 water, I could make at least four or five moonshine, which is what I'm trading for it. I don't like that he's wanting too much for his food, annoyingly. That's the only thing. I know that there's a lot of canned food and raw food I can trade for here if I get super, super desperate. I just have to like trade away everything I had if I needed it. So yeah, I'll do this for the war. You did your civic duty, heh <laughs> heh. Yeah, you're weird. I don't want to be here anymore. Come with me. What, you're leaving? Why? No gate is secure. So actually, if I had a lockpick, I indeed did that event again. Oh, they're not out there for long enough, are they? Right, we're just going to run to exit. We got what we needed. We got a crap ton of water. That means I don't need to build the water filters now to melt the snow. 
Well, which is just as well because I don't have the means by which to do that anyway. D26, we are past the halfway point. I don't feel like we're in a good position though. I made it without a single scratch. All you came back with, with was 15 water though, that's not amazing. And we got raided. We fended them off with 8 ammo. Damn, it's getting harder and harder to fend those gits off. So you're sleeping. Bruno's still ill? He is, god damn. Alright, well you're staying in bed then I guess. Roman go to bed. Oh, actually you could have the herbal medication, so let's go that's that will improve his chances of recovering again. We're gonna have Bruno cook as well, I think. I'm not sure. He's gonna stay up for a little bit. We didn't get any raw food overnight, and it looks like overnight uses up two kindling. We did get a reasonable amount of wood, so that's fine. Who did I just accidentally press on there? Whoops. Get down there and go to sleep. Right, Bruno's. The herbal meds, I've said before, 50-50 chance of actually helping you or not. Less valuable than actual medicine. I hope they'll help you as well, Bruno. Also, we're going to get... Oh, actually... Ah, never mind. Let's, I was going to get him to eat canned food first, but let's have him make moonshine first. So, I've got a lot of water. It uses kindling as well, unfortunately. We're going to use up the last of our kindling because I'll make some more by burning wood. That's going to give me three moonshine. I think actually moonshine's value might go up in the snow weather because people want the alcohol to keep them warm. Even though alcohol doesn't actually keep you warm, it just makes you feel like you're warm. But whatever. Don't worry, we'll get you into bed, Bruno. We have stuff to do first. We've got to burn some stuff now, unfortunately. Burn, say, three bits of wood. One, two, three. Four. By which I meant four bits of wood, actually. We'll have him do that. We'll top up the fire to keep things warm. It's gone down again to five degrees. Jesus. Have him eat canned food and then take one of the beds. And that'll be Bruno for the whole day. If anyone turns up, I'll probably get Roman to do it. I'd gladly eat something. Don't worry, you'll get your food in a second. Lovely, lovely canned food. Hopefully the fighting won't be as... Oh, someone's at the door. Hello, I've got a proposition for you. Bruno's ill, so I can't send him. Roman, I know you're sleeping, buddy, but... And you're hungry, but you're the one answering the door because you're my tough guy. Stop complaining about cigarettes. There's bigger things to worry about here. You murdered people. Right, Bruno, you just go to bed now because by the time... I think Roman, if I do agree to whatever this event is, he's going to be gone for the night. So let's see what happens here. Hey there, you're new here, aren't you? Did Roman join me later than everyone else? No, no, Katya was. Can you... Oh, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Hey there, neighbour. You aren't from around here, are you? I've come to tell you that there's an abandoned house nearby. The owners fled the city long ago when it was still possible. If you help me get inside, we might find something of value in there. What do you say? So you're asking me to technically be stealing. However, that's what scavenging is in a nutshell. Regardless of whether the person's at home or not, you're stealing when you scavenge. So I've been doing that since day one. You aren't from around here. Abandoned house. It's abandoned. There's no one living in it. Yeah, I'll risk it. They said it's abandoned. Right, so you're on medication and you're recovering. You've eaten. Oh, fantastic timing as well. Katja just woke up. Did the door close? I think the snow just got worse as well. On that subject, put some wood in. We need to get this place hotter. And also, Arika woke up. Arika, canned food. This is going to use up the last of my canned food tonight. In fact, you collect the moonshine because it's done. Let's go back up to six. Right. We do need food, I agree. But I have no means by which to generate amount. We have a lot of alcohol to trade again, though. I don't know if I can get to the square to get to the trade. If I go with a lockpick, though, I can break into the building at the far side of it. I'm not even sure if that's classed as owned by the people who are trading. Yeah, that's the last of my canned food gone. I have no vegetables at all, and the chances of me getting any vegetables while it's snowing, really unlikely. It's easier to follow when it's cold, yep. There'll be a random, like, a dice roll every night, depending on how cold it is. I can't make it any hotter, though. I mean, I could put you next to the fireplace, I suppose. Yeah, we're ready to end this day. Bruno's going to be sleeping off his illness, hopefully. Yep. End the day. Nothing else I could do. So, you're still classed as ill, therefore you're sleeping in bed overnight. Arika is definitely going to guard. 
Catch you as my person is going out tonight. We still can't go to a lot of places because... Oh, it's because of snow, actually, not fighting. So the snow is that heavy right now. Damn it. We've got alcohol to trade and I've got no one to trade it with. That's the problem here. I can't even get to Central Square to try and break into the place on the far side. What are we going to do? We haven't been to there yet. But it's dangerous. I mean... Hmm. Danger there. Some parts. That's not even worth going for. Where did I leave it? The supermarket can't get there because of... Anyway... I'm not sure where to go. I mean, this is the place where Roman did the bad stuff. Apparently there's still a lot of parts I can get there. And some food. I feel like I have to go there. So, I pressed the wrong thing. Scavenge, yes. Yeah. Yep, we're going back to the scene of my sins. I don't think there's any other locked doors. We'll just go with full inventory space. I'm just hoping to bring back stuff. Because even if it's technically not useful to me, I can use it in trade. So, there shouldn't be anyone left alive here. Sadly. Oh wait, no, yeah, there is. There's one person I left alive because I I couldn't bring myself to... Oh, and they're right over there. They're walking real slow. Oh, they're, they're ill. Oh, they're wounded because Roman shot her once. Yeah, well, on the bright side, bright side I'm using technically here, she won't pose a threat. She'll probably scarp her if she sees me, actually. Where the hell is she going? You're going in there. Alright. Let's see what we can find. A book in the fridge. Anything in here? Let's close the door. Just in case she comes downstairs while I'm here. Uh, well, that's good for trading, I suppose. I'm, I, like I said, I'm filling my inventory with crap. I'm kind of hoping she's going to walk back downstairs now, but... So I could have cut that open if I wanted. Um... She's not moving. Ah, oh, there was a locked door. God damn it. I don't think there's anything up here. Oh, there is. I love the visual style, by the way, when it's winter. Presumably she's about to move then. No? Yes. Again, moving very slowly because she's wounded. Oh, that was a shelling in the background. Again, that's largely rubbish. That must mean that whatever food is still here isn't actually in this building at all, so I didn't need to do anything bad to get to it. Oh, we kind of just saw each other there, but it looks like she didn't pay full attention. Oh, no, that'll be a rat. Right, we can safely run now. Oh, that could be the other person who was there before and then kind of vanished when the shit went down. Nope, it's a rat. Oh, that'll be where the food is and I need to bring a saw blade to get into it. So there's a saw blade and a lockpick needed here. I can come back again tomorrow. Do we have time to open this? We probably do. This will speed things up next time I return. There is an exit on the far side of the building, so I'm doing this even though it wastes my time. It's okay. I don't think there's any other way down there because that door's blocked from that side. I'm not sure if I can build a saw blade though. I have a crowbar, but that's not good enough. Yeah, I think I cleared this building out. We'll quickly check. Oh wait, no, there's that pile there, okay. Might be something on the roof as well then because I'm in the habit of not checking roofs. Ugh, again, garbage really. 
the person who was over here getting shot did, did just vanish though, so I assume that they got shot by the sniper lady. But I could be wrong. Nothing worth taking. And it's the story of my life right now. I wonder if the snow lowers your chances of finding stuff. Hmm. Well, there's some coffee and a cigarette for Roman. Right, quickly check up here and then let's get the hell out of here. That is where we're going to end this part as well. I am going to record the next part right now. So we will see the fallout of what we've done here and we'll see what happened with Roman in that event I sent him on as well. I'm not sure what kind of outcomes there can be. I hope nothing bad. Although, let's face it, karmically speaking, he probably deserves it. And so do I. But anyway, leave a like if you did enjoy and my trials and tribulations in this war of mine will continue next time. My name has been Flick, and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta, for now.